Hi, this is Michelle at AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to use a specific type of window in FileMaker called a card window. So let's dive in. Card windows were added in FileMaker version 16 and are considered a modal window. A modal window is essentially just a child window that lives within a parent one. In FileMaker, the benefit of this is that you can allow a user to access a new window in a completely different context while still maintaining the feel of the context they were already in. You haven't left your screen, you've merely created a new window into a new context on top of it. To demonstrate this, we'll click this Add Assignee button. You'll notice the behavior of this window is to be centered on top of the parent window um, as well as dim it and lock it. If I try to click anywhere behind here, nothing is going to happen until I've actually closed out our card window. So we'll close this window now. For this example, we'll create a card window that will allow users to view assignee information without having to leave their task. As you can see, I've already created a button that will trigger the opening of our card window. So now all we need to do is add a script to manage that behavior. We'll open our script workspace and navigate to our view assignee details script that I've already started. There are two ways to open up a card window. There's the standard new window script step and by clicking on our options, we'll select our window style and select card. You'll notice that some of the window options have changed. Because card windows do not have menu or toolbars, all of these options are going to be grayed out. What we're left with are two options. We can choose to display or not display a close button, and we can choose whether or not we want to dim the parent window. In most cases, I like to leave this checked. Dimming the parent window signals to the user that that window is no longer accessible and that the window sitting on top needs to be closed first. Whether or not to include FileMaker's close button is up to you. Note that if you uncheck the close box, you will still need to give users some way to close the window, usually via a close button on the layout that you've created. Another consideration for the close checkbox is FileMaker Go. With the close option enabled, this will allow users to tap anywhere outside of the window to close it. Again, if this box is unchecked, you will need to provide users a way to close the window. For our example, I've already added a button on the layout that will close it, so I'm going to uncheck this box now. Next, we're going to select the layout that we would like to use for our card window. I've already created this layout and I've given it the name Assignee Details Card. We'll click OK. You also have the option to set the sizing and position of your card window. By default, it will automatically give it the height and width of the layout itself. If you'd like to customize this further, you can simply add a value in these fields. Something you'll notice with list views is that by default, the height will only account for one list item. So generally speaking, you'll need to set the height for any layout that is a list view. Since I want to use the default for this layout, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. The new window script step, as I mentioned, is one way to open up a card window. In this case, if we were to open up our card window based on assignee details, we would then need to add additional scripting. 
to actually find the assignee that we're looking for. I could do this by clicking assignees and doing a search on the primary key and performing a find. There are several use cases where this will work perfectly. For our example, however, we're going to use the second method of opening up a card window. We'll disable this for now. And we're going to use the go to related record script step. Now, when we open up our options, of course, the first thing we need to do is select the related record that we're looking for. In this case, it's an assignee. Next, we can select the current layout we'd like to use, but really, we don't want to leave our layout. We want to show a new window, so we'll select that option. This will automatically open up our new window dialog box that looks exactly like the new window scripts app. Again, we'll select a different window style, the card. We'll choose the layout that we want to display for our card window. Again, this is the assignee details card that was created specifically for this purpose. And we will uncheck the close option since again, we have a close button on our layout. We're leaving the size, width, and positions to default, so we'll click OK. In this case, we do only want to show related record for the current record only, so I'll make sure that that is checked as well and say OK. We'll save this script, and now let's check out the layout that we created specifically for the card window. We'll go into layout mode, and I will navigate to the Assignee Details card window. One of the design considerations you'll make when developing a layout specific for a card window is its size. Users will expect the child window to be smaller than the parent window. So to make sure you know the size of the parent window that will be opening up your card window and size your card window appropriately. The second consideration is going to be how users will close the window. We covered this when talking about the card window options. So I just want to point out here that there is in fact a button with a close window script step that will allow users to close this window. Let's now switch back to our tasks detail. Go back into browse mode and test our new assignee card window button. And it works. We now have a window into our assignee's information without having to leave our task detail. Thanks for watching.